Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of The Masar Way. Today we will be learning how to make artisan bread. If you have not subscribed yet, now would be a good time to click that little red button below. If you want to be extra awesome, click the bell icon and you'll receive notifications every time I upload a new video. If you have flour, salt, instant yeast, cornmeal, and water, you're all set to start making some delicious homemade artisan bread. And if you're feeling adventurous, grab your favorite olives and some fresh rosemary as well. This recipe will give you three loaves averaging about a dollar a loaf. Talk about cheap. Now let's get started on making the dough. First, add six and a half cups of flour, four teaspoons of salt, and one and one half tablespoons of instant yeast into a large bowl. Mix the dry ingredients around until it's nice and uniform. Next, we will need three cups of lukewarm water at around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't have to be exact, but if you want to be exact, use a sous vide or a thermometer and use some chemistry you thought you'd never use again. Add in one cup of your lukewarm water at a time and mix. Keep mixing until you do not see any powdery flour inside of your dough. I mix for around one and a half to two minutes until it was uniform. If you still see a powdery flour while you're mixing, mix in one tablespoon of water at a time until it's gone. Next, portion out your dough into three equal parts and put it in three different bowls. In your first bowl, add one to two tablespoons of fresh rosemary and mix it all in. If you like rosemary in general, I suggest growing some. They're a fairly durable herb and buying sprigs from the store is crazy overpriced. In your second bowl, add a fourth a cup of sliced pitted olives and mix those salty, flavorful treasures into your dough. For this, I used dried black olives and cracked green olives I had lying around my kitchen. For my third loaf, I kept it plain, but added spirit fingers so it would feel fabulous. Now, let your dough rest for two hours. Next, sprinkle cornmeal to the nonstick pans you will be using to bake your bread on. We move on to transferring your dough from bowl to cornmeal pan. I used a flour spatula to scrape the sides of each bowl. A light dusting of flour on top of the dough and your hands really help in this process. We want to try and keep as many of the air pockets in our dough as possible during the transfer. If you don't, you'll end up with a nice, dense loaf you could use as a weapon to throw at people who don't follow the six foot social distancing rule. Again, the idea is to maintain the air pockets in your loaf. Note, the bottom will be sticky. Once you have the dough in your hands, you will want to shape it into a nice loaf by tucking in the sides into the bottom center of the loaf. If at first you do not succeed, Try and try again. Once you transfer your loaf onto the cornmeal, don't move it, just let it be. If you are unhappy with the shape of your loaf, try again next time. You only got one shot, do not miss your chance to set it right. Once you have your loaves on the pan, let it sit for another 40 minutes. This will allow more air pockets to form in your loaf, creating a nice, airy, delicious bread. At around 30 minutes into your wait, get your oven ready by moving your oven racks to the bottom two slots and preheating on bake to 450. After your loaves have rested for 40 minutes, they will have expanded. Even if they end up touching each other, do not move them. So if you want to create the nice classic look of artisan bread with a contrast of white and golden brown, generously sprinkle flour on top of each of your loaves. Now is a chance to unlock your artsiness. Grab your sharpest knife and carefully cut one fourth to one half inch cuts in whatever shape or way or form you want. For my olive loaf, I decided on a traditional two cut. For my regular loaf, a stylish M, 
because after all, this is the Masar way. And for my rosemary loaf, a hashtag. Now it's time to start the baking process, but first we must create steam. We do this by adding warm water to a pan and placing it on the bottom rack of our oven. Then add your loaves to the rack right above it, but don't take too long. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until you see a nice golden crust form to the bottom of your bread. Once you take them out of the oven, place on a cooling rack and once warm enough to handle, cut into slices and enjoy with some olive oil or butter. Mmm, olivey goodness. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to the Masar Way.